Just know I'm fucking ecstatic for y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Gustavo will not be going Chevy 25 right now if it wasn't for the Wolf Club, right? I just want you guys to know that. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Kisses from me to you. Hugs from me to you. Straight up. That's just how I feel. I'm showing gratitude. But guys, enough of me, man. Let's bring the man of the legend himself that's going to come here and literally... I know he's, he's about to go ham. What he's going to talk about, right? He's not, I don't know if he's going to talk to a person about his personal life, but he's going to talk about what he does best, right? And what he does best is bring that flame, bring that heat, bring that energy. I need everybody to drop some sevens in the chat right now for the man of myth, the legend himself. You guys already know my brother from another, Cash Mother Cartier. Cash, my brother, are you there? Yes, sir. What's up, Gus? Take it away, my brother. I love, I, you, bro. I love you too, bro. I appreciate you. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Yo, I just want to give it back to Gus really quick and Ricky. Yo, you guys are rocking with some savages right now. Um, you know, I've been working with Gustavo now, uh, which is crazy. Sidelines, you know what I mean? And um, we're about to grind together in a minute too. Um, you know, I, I really think that that's that, that should just be the culture like worldwide, right? In in this company, but. Um, you know, I've been working with Gus for a while now, and we still talk about this day till this day. That if you look at everybody on this call, you know what I mean. It, it's insane to think that you know someone on this call is going to be. You know, some people are going to quit. That just is what it is. And some people on this call are going to be like hit chairman together. You get what I'm saying? Some of y'all are going to be like, remember when we were broke and all this other stuff. And that's my story, you know, with, with Gustavo, you know what I mean? I remember when we were on the come up, you know, trying to make it, talking about like, you know, like what it's going to be like when we're making money and, you know, what it's going to be like when we're, when we're on calls like this, what it's going to be like when we're in the Dominican Republic. You know, I remember us like talking about stuff like that and it's crazy to think that like our dreams literally manifested and, you know, we became really good friends now, you know. Um, one thing I'll tell you guys about Gus is he's a very real, um, very real person, very genuine. And although y'all probably don't know it, um, he talks a lot about you, uh, you know, while you're not there. He talks a lot about you guys. Well, you know, uh, when he's just with me, uh, I got Drake behind me, Jose upstairs. Um, it might even be on camera. You know, Gus is always talking about his team. You know what I mean? I just think that just goes to show you know, what kind of, um, you know, what kind of leader you have, uh, aside from the money and all that other stuff. So just giving it back to Gus. Love you, bro. I appreciate you. And I appreciate y'all having me on this call. Um, so that part being said, let's kick it off. My name is uh, Cash Cartier, Chairman 25 in the company. Um, if you have not, um, you know, heard me before, um, you know, I don't know what we're going to get from me. You, you know what I mean? Like, I never know what I'm going to do until we do it. So um, if I swear a lot, I'm sorry, um, but hopefully I can give you guys some value today. Um, like I said, my name is Cash Cardi. I'm chairman 25 in the company. I'm about 28 years old now. You know, I've been doing this now for about, um, you know, four years going on five, which is crazy to think. And my journey wasn't the same journey as everybody else's. And I'm not going to get too much into the story today because I do want to give you as much valuable, uh, value as possible, right? But what I want to talk about, right, is just tell you a little bit, like, here's my thing. I never thought I was actually going to make it, you know, to, um, you know, make it to Chairman 25, Chairman, none of that other stuff. When I first started out, right, I was a felon, bus boy. Um, you know, I, uh, I went to uh, prison when I was 18. I didn't graduate high school because I went to prison when I was still in high school. You know, I got out when I was uh, 21 and I, I wanted to change my, you know, change my life when I got out. So I moved from California to Dallas, Texas. Uh, that's when I started busting tables at a restaurant. Wolf of Wall Street came out, and uh, you know, long story short, you know, when Wolf of Wall, Wolf of Wall Street came out, um, I was like, I want to do that, but legally, right? And so um, I started looking for ways to make money online. Got introduced uh, to this, thought it was a scam, signed up anyways, and uh, you know, I started rocking with it. You know what I mean? Um, I've, uh, you know, like I said, I, I didn't, I don't have the sexy story. I didn't come in here and start blasting ranks. I didn't come in here and, and nail chairman. It took me about a year, two years. Um, what, what's he got? What's, did he, what's, what's, did he take that? Yeah, I got you. Whatever it is. Sorry, my dog's messing around with something. Um, but you know, I didn't. I didn't have the sexy story, blasting ranks, all this other stuff. You know, and the point is, is that every single rank it took me about uh, uh, a year, two years to hit. A year and a half, if you want to look on a, on average, right? Imagine being at. P1000, you know, for almost two years, being at 2K for almost, you know, a year and a half, 5K, whatever, right? The quickest ranks I have ever hit was actually these chairman ranks, by far, 
all right? So now we're blasting through chairmen. So now here's what I want to get into with that part being said, right? You don't know what the finish line looks like, right? Just because someone else is moving faster than you does not mean that they're going to be moving faster than you forever. Everybody was outranking me when I first started, right? And now I pass a lot of people up. And it's not about passing all these people up. It's not about that. But a lot of you, I can tell you right now, as you, you look to the side and you see everybody smashing ranks and you see people that came in, you know, two years after you, you know, moving really quickly. You hear about them hitting chairman and all this other stuff. Meanwhile, you're at P1K and you've been there for a long time, right? Well, what I want to tell you is, is that the people that when I came in, they came in three years before me, started smashing chairman and all that. Other, I'm sorry, they came in three years after me right? I was actually one of the first people ever in this company. And they came in three years after me, started blasting chairman in their first week, their first month. And all of a sudden, you know, I'm sitting there at P1K while all the people are getting what I thought, what I wanted, the clout that I wanted, right? And I'm like, that should be me. And I sat there and watched and watched and watched. And I was the last person to you know, ever even make it to make it to 2K to 5K. I was watching all of them do the chairman things, chairman section, and there's little old cash, right? And the only one not really making it. And you know, my point is, is that you should just realize that who's to say you're not going to pass someone up, right? Who's it? Because we're here for the long term, right? So just because someone hit chairman, you know, three years before you, that doesn't mean that you're not going to hit chairman 500 before them. Okay, and so I don't want you to think in a competitive nature, but I want you to be thinking that, that you know, you don't know what your journey has in store for you and always be kind of thinking that, right? Um, you know, this last year, the thing that kind of changed a lot for me was when, uh, you know, January 6th, my, my grandma and my baby sister got killed in a car accident on the way to church. At the time, right, I was actually unranked, okay? I was actually unranked. I uh, was not at all making, um, you know, any money, okay? And I'm actually going to show you guys just a little screenshot here. Um, you know, it's crazy because I, I just can't. I still be, like, getting chills thinking about it. But, look, I'm going to show you. Share my screen. Boom. Look at this. All right? Negative 317, right? December 24th, 2018, right? So, like I said, I was drowning right? Like I was drowning, still paying my auto ship though, right? But I was drowning. Okay. Uh, January 6th. So remember maybe what, 10 days later, I'm not going to math 14 days later, two weeks later, right? My family dies in a car accident. Okay. Dies in a car accident. Now I'm negative in my bank account. I'm unranked, all this other stuff going on. And you know, then all of a sudden, you know, I'm still grinding through when my family passed away, still doing uh, home events, still in the trenches, still working, still doing trainings, never missed a day, right? Was popping off, like doing everything I could, right? To keep going. Uh, buried my family, you know, buried my sister, buried my, my, uh, my, uh, my grandma, right? I buried them at the same time, right? And then after we buried them, right? Literally the next day, I'm literally in my Facebook messenger uh, chat saying, hey, did all the funeral and stuff, putting this all behind me. You know what I mean? Now I'm ready to go at 100%, right? The next day. And then I bullshit you not, I literally, as I hit send to that, all right, okay, I get a Facebook messenger call that says, hey, Cash, you know, just want to let you know that your mom's going to die. And so then my mom passes away also. Um, you know, my grandma that raised me, right? But she, for me, she's my mom. And, you know, so three of them, and she was my why, by the way, all three of them passed away within, the, within three weeks, okay? Boom, gone. And again, now I'm unranked. I'm negative in my, bro uh, my, my bank account. Everyone else is smashing ranks, right? And there's little old cash not, not, not winning, right? And I'm going to be honest, this is where I had a whole bunch of stuff just kind of shift. And I was just like, oh, it's, it's time to go. Like, it's time to go. And, you know, what I've realized after all these years I went through in pain, because I'm not going to get into my story too much, but all the years I went through in pain, what I noticed was, was that when I was going through pain and I sat there and accept, or I sat there and I dwelled in it, it sucked, all right? It sucked and I, I did, nothing else happened. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to do other things or whatever. And I got depressed. Then what I also realized was this, and this is what I want you to take note of. I started realizing that... No matter what, if I keep moving, right, if I keep moving, 
then what happens is, is it's harder for me to get depressed because your brain is kind of like water, right? Your brain is kind of like water, right? Why am I saying that? Because if you put water on the floor, on some wood or whatever, and you let it sit there and it doesn't move, what happens? It begins to mold. It begins to get black mold on it. It begins to rot. And it begins to infest the whole house and all of a sudden it's falling apart. That's depression. And so when you go through pain, right, what I noticed was is you've got to learn how to start moving even though you don't feel like it, okay? And so that was what I learned. And I was posting this on my Instagram stories and all that saying, I know my family passed away and all this other stuff. I just cleaned that my entire house today. My mom died. I'm not, I'm not going to stop moving. I'm getting in the trenches. I'm going to keep working because I know that if I sit still, then depression is going to kick in. And so what I did as I transmuted my pain by putting that pain into business and I got my ass to work. So went from unranked to February 2nd when my, my mom passed away. All of a sudden, February 6th, I got to P1K, right? February 14th, P2K, right? Then March, I hit P5K, right? Fast forward, um, Ju uh, June, okay, June of 2019, Chairman 10, right? Two months later, uh, two months later after Chairman 10, smashed Chairman 25. Okay, and, and all of a sudden just starts moving. Now, what happened? What happened? I started realizing that they're not, nothing can really be worse at that point. Nothing else can hurt me at this point. I'm numb, I'm not scared of failure, I'm not afraid of anything else, so I went all in. And so what I want to talk to everyone about, and I'm gonna start right there with my point, is have you made that decision to go all in? Or are you just kind of doing it? Because if you're just kind of doing this shit, you're never gonna make it. And I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. If you, if you wanna make it, you've gotta understand that if I was grinding when my family was for like literally getting killed off like Game of Thrones type shit, okay? And I'm just being real. I'm just, you just gotta be thinking, if that's what I was doing to make it to where I'm at now, Right? Do you really think that you can half-ass this and make it? Do you really think it takes a hundred percent of your energy? And so that's what I've really realized is when I look at all the teams around the entire industry is that most teams don't have high energy, right? And I'm gonna be honest, I want to even look at this call, right? If we look at this call, so many people don't even have their cameras on. And the reason why is because they're vibrating very low. They're not paying attention. They're not hungry. They're doing other things that they shouldn't be doing. They're doing anything except being all in. They're not focused on the webinar. They're focused on whatever is going on. See, here's my thing. I ran this shit like a business and now I'm getting paid like a business. I sit down, you never see me do a webinar on a phone. I do a webinar always on a laptop. Why? Because this is a business, right? And I run it like one. This is a business. I wanna get paid like one. I'm not doing anything other than my business. My 100% attention is in everything that I'm doing. I'm giving high energy into everything that I'm doing, right? And so what you've gotta understand is how you do anything is how you do everything. And so if you want a culture, right, of high energy, then here's my thing, is you've gotta be a high energy person. And so that doesn't mean that you can be this cool person chilling, all quiet, because you're too cool to fucking scream and, and, and cheer and all this other stuff because you're just such a dope person that you don't want to go uh, cheer someone on. It doesn't look dope, right? Men, you've got egos like crazy, right? And so what I did is I was like, I'm broke. Right? Because some of you, I'm gonna be honest, are broke. And you would rather be broke than cheer, than give high energy. 
And my thing was, is I said, should I give high energy or be high energy, look like a fucking idiot and all this other stuff in front of all these people or would I rather be broke and look like a fu fucking idiot and act cool standing in the back, not cheering people on, not giving high energy, not turning my cameras on, not taking notes. And so I remember being in the P5K section Right? I remember being in the P5K section right in the very front and there was ropes, right? For all the dope ass chairmen, okay? The little ropes that section off all, you know, the dope ass chairmen. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And I remember being in the very front with the line right in front of me and I said, oh, I see y'all not taking notes up in that fucking chairman section. I see y'all not, not cheering up there in the chairman section. I see that, right? Little P5K, Cash Cartier sees that. But I said, I'll take notes when I'm up there, though. I'm going to take these nuggets right now, though, at P5K. I'm going to scream right now. I'm going to be high energy. I'm going to get it, right? I'm going to get it. I'll do it. Since you don't want to, I'll do it. And then what ended up happening happening was this. I started passing everyone the fuck up because they were too cool to get high energy, right? So that's what I decided to do is now, here's my thing. Now I'm high energy making a lot of money and I'm passing everybody up because nobody wants to give high energy, right? Energy is, energy is money. The high, money is vibrating on a high level of energy. So if you are vibrating on low level energy, how the fuck are you gonna make money? Right? How are you gonna make money? How? There's a lot of, there's a lot of humility in money. You've gotta look like an idiot if you wanna make money. And so you've gotta start doing things to raise your vibrations. Now get this, right? If you go to an event, why is it that when you're at an event, right, all of a sudden you're like, oh, when I get home, I'm going to smash this. I'm going to pop off. I'm going to kill this, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about? You know, you're vibrating high. Now you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash chairman. You're emotionally involved into it. Why? Because you're vibrating higher. Why? Because the chairmen were speaking and they raised your energy to their level of vibration. Really understand what I'm teaching right now. So they raise your energy to their level of vibration. Why do you think that people go, when they go up there to speak, they say everyone stand up? Because rather they know it or not, they, their spiritual side of them, right? The spiritual side of them cannot speak until everyone is vibrating on the same level as them. So they subconsciously have to make everyone stand up. Okay, so they can take control of the whole room. See, here's my thing. Notice how all of a sudden cameras started getting turned on and shit when I started talking about it. The reason why is because this is my energy now, right? This is my call now. You've got to be thinking like that. This is me vibrating high. And I can't get started until we're all vibrating on the same spot. So from now on, high energy. Now, once you leave the event, what happens? All of a sudden, your energy level lowers. Why does it lower? Because you left all of the energy, all of the people. So how, how is it that we expect to make money once we leave? Because now we go back to our, our level of energy. So the question now is cash. How do I vibrate high at all times? Great question. The answer. You create a culture of high energy. That way you're living in, a, in, in high energy at all times. And so now, every time you go to a home event, a hotel event, you get on a webinar, whatever it is that you're doing, you're vibrating high. Right? So now if you're vibrating high and you're always plugged in and you're always with the team, how would you not make money? How would you not? Because you're a product of your environment. So from moving forward, you guys are in massive momentum. I've seen, I've seen Gustavo's back office, okay? I've seen it all. I've seen exactly what the leg balance is. I see all of these ranks popping. I see volume skipping. And you wanna know what's crazy is I'm going to be real, just like I say to my team as well, right? We're at the very minimum of what you could do right now. Because I could 
promise you, you're not moving at the highest level of energy that you can move at. Which means, imagine if you were to move at a high level of energy. What is momentum? What is momentum? Momentum is excitement. What's excitement? Reverse engineer it. What's excitement? Excitement is people that are high level of energy. So what does that mean? That means that excitement creates momentum. So that means if you're excited at all times and you're having a culture of excitement, then you're always in momentum. See, you guys are excited right now while momentum is going. But what will happen is, is when life starts changing and all this other stuff, you're gonna go back to the same spot if you don't make a habit of being in high energy. So you wanna start now. And I, I, I promise you, once you get and start raising this energy and you get the culture of high energy, how would you not make money? You're gonna pop off even more. You're probably rocking right now at about 10 to 20% of what you could do because you're not even tapped in yet to the spiritual side of success. You're just kind of in it. You're just kind of, you're just kind of all in, right? So going back to what I said in the beginning of the call, are you actually all in? Because remember what it was like for many of you when you first started. Some of you are new, but remember what it was like when you first started. Every single day for me, right? Every single day for me is like the first day I started. I wake up and I love this shit. Gustavo's about to come over, I'm excited as hell. Right? Like literally I'm like, yo, I can't wait for Gus to get here. I can't wait, yo, what's up, bro? Smiling and laughing and talking about how broke we were. Right? You understand what I'm saying? I'm excited. I'm in love with this shit. Some of y'all are scared to tell people what you're doing. Some of y'all don't want to tell anybody what you're doing. You're embarrassed. How are you embarrassed about what you're doing? There's people making monopoly money up in this shit. Fun coupons and shit. How are you embarrassed? We are in the second pain, high, high pain industry in the world. And you're embarrassed? And you're embarrassed. We make more money than rappers, professional athletes, and all that shit. We make more money than all of them. So what are you embarrassed about? You better go get your money. Yo, this is a sport. This is a sport. You gotta be a team player, right? A sport. Why do you see big ass, grown ass men, right, in the NFL, all this other shit, right? Hands in the middle, breaks, chants, all that shit. Why does that go on, right? Because they know that if you're vibrating on a high level of energy and they're putting their hands in there and they have sayings, it's called culture. They have a culture. And then they end up having a culture of winning. Do we have a culture of winning right now? And so what I know is, is you guys have P150s popping like popcorn right now. You've got P150s popping like popcorn right now. But what I'm gonna tell you is, is that we need to increase it still. So yo, our job as mentors is not to just say, good job. It's to say, good job, but we can move faster. We can push harder. Right? P150 is seven days. P150 in three days. P150 in one hour. Right? P600 in one week. What's really the tone right now? So, are you excited about what you're doing in the past or are you excited for what you're about to do? And so, this is a team sport. Are you helping your sidelines or are you just doing this for, for yourself and for your team? Because at the end of the day, right, if you look at success leaves clues, why the fuck am I on this call if I'm not a team player? Why was Gustavo on, my, on, on the walking ATMs call, right, the other day? It's because we're team players, and how you do anything is how you do everything. Do you want to know what's crazy? Is nobody, nobody respected me during my come up. It's, and want to know what's, what's insane? Is Gustavo was writing me when I was nothing and kept saying, yo, you're really inspiring me, bro. Yo, you're killing it, bro. You look up to me, bro. And it got in my head. It started me, like it literally 
started making made me thinking like I was like, man, maybe I am good because I didn't believe in myself. And so having someone that had no, no direct benefit from me telling me that I'm good, telling me that I'm great, telling me that they see me boosted my confidence. And then all of a sudden I started smashing ranks. And he was writing me every single time. Some of you don't even want each other to win. You want people to do good, but not better, right? You want people to do good, but not better. Now, Gustavo, myself, and many other people, right, want people to do great at all costs. You better get in the habit of doing like that. You guys gotta start moving in synchronicity. You gotta start moving in unison. You gotta start moving as one. Because all momentum is, is excitement with a vision moving in one direction, right? You're moving as one group. It's like a laser. Understand, why, why, does la why can a laser go through walls and all this other shit, why? Because it's all these particles squeezed together it moves it very quickly. Now, if you open it up, it doesn't really do shit. It's like light. You want to create a laser-like, a laser-like team, a group moving in unison, moving as one. If you take everyone in a group and you squeeze them together, you move quickly. It's common sense. But here's my thing. There's gonna be people on this call right now, right? that are gonna know better than Gustavo, that are gonna know better than your mentors. Y'all gonna know better than everybody. But let me give you a reality check. Why the fuck are you broke then? Why are you broke telling everybody, right, what you think is best? You're broke. You're broke. And the quicker you accept that, the quicker you're gonna get results. The quicker you're gonna get results. So I always got people on my squad, on these other squads, yo Cash, you don't know what you're doing. How the fuck do I not know what I'm doing? How do, I don't know what I'm doing? Oh, you're right. I, just, I didn't go through four to five years of all this shit, figuring it out with that, like figuring it out, making all the mistakes. I didn't try that before. I didn't fail there before. I didn't, I didn't, um, you know, throw an event and have people in sweatpants and shit. I didn't have a culture of people smoking weed and shit. You're right. I never did. I didn't, I don't know about any of my shit, right? That, do you understand what, we've already been through it. Smoking weed, the, 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 the smoking weed culture, right? The drinking culture, the culture of low energy, the culture of egos, right? So you want to know what changed everything for me? Is when I stopped listening to what the, the, everybody on the team wanted and I started doing what they needed, not what they wanted. And I started saying, hey, you want to know what? If you don't want to listen to me, that's fine. Volunteer army. Right? But I know where I'm going. I know where I'm bringing the people that's following me. And if you don't want to listen, that's fine. But no longer are we listening to contradicting statements in this culture. And you want to know what? A lot of people left. And you want to know what? Once they, once they left, we smashed ranks. And then all of a sudden they fucking came back. All, all of a sudden they said, Cash, I'm sorry. You were right. I know. Because I had a vision. I know. Because we've been through it before. Y'all gonna be in here for your first year telling your mentors that have been in for three years what, what you think is best. Your job is not to think. Your job is to duplicate. Your job is not, n never ever did we say to you, right, hey, what do you think? We say, we're duplicating. This is the system. So, Many of you aren't gonna get on calls, right? Many of you aren't gonna be active in the chat rooms, right? You're gonna have your leader writing you and you're not gonna write back and you expect success. How? How? How you do anything is how you do everything. Are you all in right now? The, I, yo, I don't know because this ain't no fucking hype call. Okay, this is a reality check call.
from yours truly right now. No hype. Are you all in? Are you all in? And before you say you're all in, I'm going to have you drop it in the chat box, but before you do it, right, you really got to ask yourself, are you lying on your fucking lie, right? Because some of you won't be here. Two months from now, more of you won't. Three months, more of you won't. Why is that? Because people lie on their why. So before you drop it in, you better do a react. Would you grind if your family passed away? Because some of you can't even stop watching fucking Netflix. Some of you can't put the blood down, right? Oh, it makes me think better, blah, blah, blah. Then why are you broke? It makes me think better. It makes me, oh, bro, it makes a candlestick slower. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? For real? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, the rappers do it. Are you a fucking rapper? Are you a rapper? Or what? Spit your bars in. Okay, so with that part being said, right, don't sit here and don't sit here and be one of those people that's gonna make a justification as to why you're doing shit that's slowing you down. Here's my thing. I didn't drink at all during the come up. I didn't drink, I didn't smoke weed at all during the come up. Ever. I, I don't smoke ever. Why? Because I know that it's gonna slow me down. It lowers your vibrations. Why would I wanna make it harder? Is being broke not hard enough? Everybody on this call, right, is doing something that they need to give up. Everyone on this call, listen to what I'm telling you right now. Everyone on this call is doing something that they need to give up and you know what it is. I don't know if it's weed, drinking, partying, tender. I don't know what it is. What is it? And guess what? Let's go back to energy really fast now. Energy, it takes a lot of energy out of you to, to do anything. Just to think takes a lot of energy. Why is it that I always wear the same outfit every day? I don't want to think. It wastes too much energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why is it that billionaires wear the same things every day? People are like, oh, they're so humble. They're not being humble. They don't want to think. So just by, if I'm saying I'm saving energy by wearing the same outfit every day, you've really got to be thinking, right? How much energy are you putting into something that's a bad habit? It's sucking your soul out of you and you don't even know it. It's sucking the soul out of you and you don't even know it. And you're wondering why you're not moving the way you want to. Some of y'all are winning and some of y'all are not. And for the ones of you who are not, right, it's because you have bad habits. All discipline is, is the ability to give yourself a command and you do it. My dog, right, has more discipline than a lot of people on this call, than a lot of people in the world. My dog has more discipline because my dog will listen to a command. But most of us cannot listen to a command that we give ourselves. Yo, don't watch Netflix. Hop on this call. No, I'm going to watch Netflix. Uh, what? How? Discipline. Discipline. Discipline yourself. Have integrity. Integrity is telling yourself the truth, right? Integrity is telling yourself the truth. So I'm gonna start ending this call, right? All in, it takes all of your energy to go all in, means all energy, all in, all energy, all focus, everything. You put everything into this business to get the plane off the ground. You get every, you put everything. You put your problems into, you don't plug out when things get hard, you plug in when things are hard. You don't plug out when things are hard, you plug in when times are hard. Yo, everybody, everybody grinds when it's easy. Everyone's an amazing leader when once everything's going right, once we're in momentum, everybody, right? Now, the second, you start having a pullback and you're not excited no more, 
all of a sudden, we start finding out who the soldiers are. Because everybody tells me, yo, Cass, I'm going to outwork you. I'm like, oh, because you're excited right now? Right? You're, because you're excited? We're going to see who's going to outwork who once shit hits the fan. Right? We're going to see who's going to outwork. Don't talk to me about how great you are once you're in momentum. Because momentum always has a pullback. And we're gonna all oh, we will always find out who all these alphas are, right? All of a sudden people are like, oh, I think I'm just gonna go trade, bro. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna go trade. Or you get these guys, right? Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna quit because y'all don't trade and I am. Oh, we don't we don't trade. Right? Y'all know what I'm talking about? These little justifiers and shit. Just justifying the reasons why they're quitting to make themselves feel better. R like, it's a weird world that we fucking live in. Are you going to be one of those people? Are you going to be one of those people? Right? All in mentality. Get this culture going. High energy. Culture of cameras on. Culture of welcoming people into the chat rooms. A culture of talking in the chat rooms. A culture of talking to your leaders. A culture of writing back out of respect when your leaders are writing you. Be a leader. Be a leader. Yo, I, if, if I had direct contact to a chairman, uh, just a chairman 10 when I started out, holy shit, I would have been lit. But when I started out, there was no chairman. Many of us take having chairman for granted. You, you just take it for granted. It's easy to be like, oh, yo, I know Gustavo really well and all this. It's easy to do that and forget that this is the man that's going to take you to the top. That these other chairmen, uh, Ricky and, and uh, I don't know who else you're even working with, Emery, Darwin, whoever else, these are the people that are going to take you to the top. Your, your mentor, the one that's right in front of you as well. Are you a P600 with an ego now listening to the P1K? Get rid of that shit. We've got to start understanding that it's okay to follow and for us to get to that next level. Till this day, I'm still a follower. Till this day, I still listen to mentorship. Yo, I don't even buy expensive shit without asking Matt Rosa and Jason Brown if I can make the purchase with my own money. I listen like a fucking dog. Why? Because I want to make money for my why. Do you get all in? Make the decision to go all in. So with that part being said, if you are all in, write it out in the chat room. If you are all in, write it out in the chat room. No hype. No hype. If you're skeptical, don't say shit. If you're skeptical, you shouldn't even be on the call. We shouldn't even be trading energy right now. If you're skeptical, you shouldn't be here. If your cameras are off, you shouldn't be on the call. If your cameras are off, you're not all in. Right? If you're not in the chat rooms, you're not all in. Get your shit together. Right? It's going to take everything to get this off the ground. You're going to need each other. You're going to need your mentors. You're going to need your energy. You're going to need everybody moving in unison. So we've got to get to the top right now. Everybody. So moving forward, P600. If you're P150, P600, set your goal within the next one week. One week. Right? One week. Anybody that's P2K, right? One month, right? Quantum fucking leaps. Stop this realistic shit. How are you going to beat me when I'm playing inside my own head? How are you going to beat me if I'm playing inside my own head? This is your world. Everyone else is living in it. Design your life. Design it in your mind. This is your world. You choose what you want to do. You pick your own limits. You pick your own pace. Right? Get in the trenches. It's hard to spot the general when he's working like a soldier. So get your ass in the trenches. Let's move. Let's grind. Let's take Wealth Club all the way to the fucking top. And yo, I'm telling you right now, right? We've got to get Gustavo all the way to Chairman 25, then Chairman 50, because the faster you get him there, the faster all of you can smash Chairman. 
the faster all of you can smash chairman. On walking ATMs, our culture is not just the downline, not just the organization, it's our culture is we get our mentors to that next level. We get our mentors to that next level. That's the culture. That's the culture. Yo, at some point, you've got to be a leader and tell your leader, right, your rank's on me today. Your rank is on me today. Your success is on me today. You've done enough. I got it from here. I'm going to get you there. Let's pop this shit off. So with that part being said, I'm going to pass it over to Gustavo really quick, right? I'll see y'all at the top because the bottom is way too fucking crowded.